Well, hello and welcome back to my channel for my second perfume review video. <laughs> and I made a recent purchase again through Libertine and received some more samples. So today I thought we'd do five perfume samples, five perfume reviews. <laughs> I'll spit it out eventually and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, let me know what you think. Obviously subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz, but let's go. <laughs> so I'm just going to put my glasses on. See? <laughs> and the first uh, perfume I'm going to be reviewing. And again, like my previous uh, video, I am looking at the perfume description through the site, uh, which is Libertine. And I'm reading off the description. I'm going to give you the notes as well. Like I've previously told you, I'm not a perfume expert. This is really new for me, but I am someone who absolutely loves perfumes and smelling new ones and purchasing them as well. So um, I thought we'd just go through this kind of experiment or little journey together. And you can obviously tell me your thoughts and if you like it or not. Um, I don't care because I'm going to keep doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, just joking. Um, yeah, so the first one we're going to do and go over today is the brand, and this is the brand here. Ooh. Um, I don't know what that was. Um, the brand is called Hermetica. It sounds pretty cool. And the actual tester name, it's called Jade888. Luckily, it wasn't Jade666. <laughs> um, very strange. So what we do, we have the tester here. Obviously, now, last week in my video, I did mention that I was going to get some of those fancy little perfume tester cards. As you can see, still using paper. <laughs> I didn't get any, but I will try and source, but no, just I will purchase some um, eventually. <laughs> but again, for today's video, we're just going to use paper, which is fine. So this is my, I haven't smelt this uh, perfume before. So let's see what we think. Oh, if I can get it to spray, that is. Okay. Spray it again. Mm. I've actually, my first response is I've actually never smelt a perfume that smells like this ever. And as in a good way, not a bad way. Straight away, it's very fresh. It kind of, the first spray was, it smelt light, but I don't think it is light. I don't know. Oh, it's very complex. It's got a lot going on. I'm just trying to find the words to describe it because I'm thinking green. I mean, the bottle's green, and I don't know if I'm distracted by the fact that the bottle's green, and that's what's swaying my review for you today, my description. Now, I honestly couldn't tell you what this smells like. I can tell you it smells fresh. Green comes to mind like some sort of green, like greenery. I don't know if that's like um, ferns or something like that. I'm thinking ferns, <laughs> which is very strange. It could be citrus or some type of citrus. I don't know. But I can tell you, A, I've never smelled a perfume like this before, and B, I do like it because it's so different. I've never smelled anything like it. Very cool. Okay, well, I'm going to put that down. Just put that over there so I don't forget which is which. And I'm going to go to the website <laughs> and read up the description. So, again, this was Hermetica Jade 888. And this is, first of all, it comes under green which I would agree. Crisp, crisp green notes reminiscent of cut grass or crushed leaves. Interesting. Okay. Jade 888, a green and aromatic scent evokes images of dense foliage and tangled vines. Prolific and untamed like the undergrowth of the Amazon. Mm. The key notes in this soft verdant scent are iris, oil, ginger extract, CO2, and lily of the valley molecule. Wow. Soft, pure, and precious. Cre key, I'll get it out. <laughs> key ingredients are the iris oil, ginger, extract, CO2, lily of the valley, 
Valley Molecule. Okay. Okay, so then it has a description here. It says, All Active Family Emerald Stairways Green the Emerald Stairways Collection is inspired by the famous Emerald Table, part of the Corbus Hermeticum Book of Alchemy. The collection is a celebration of different shades of green. Each green note evokes life, nature, and energy. Speed versus time it takes to have the full impression of the fragrance's DNA is 15 seconds. Okay, let's smell it again. Yeah, it is kind of like when I say, um, when I said ferns, I'm not saying it smells like a fern, but it, it does remind me of that. And I really like it. It's still quite strong in the paper too. It's very refreshing. Even though it's bright, I would describe this as bright. It's very calming actually too, which is very strange. <laughs> Maybe because we all want to go back to the forest. I don't know. I don't really want to, but um, yeah, I really like that. That's really nice. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the description that's pretty cool hey eh? hermetica yeah i like that a lot very nice Woo! okay number two or oh, numero no <laughs> numero <two> is one <laughs> that's funny okay number two today on our list it's uh from the house perfumes de mali and you might remember in my previous video i did a review on perfumes Damali, which was Melora, and this time it's Orana or or Oriana, could be Oriana, I'd say. And uh, this is what the sample looks like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and we'll pull it out of the little sample box. Very exciting. And oh, I'll spray it. Don't look first. I was nearly going to cheat and look at the uh, description for you. Don't do that. Okay, let's spray it. Sorry for sniffing there. And, uh, ooh. Okay, my, my first in my mind straight away, this is what I need to be clear at what my impressions are straight away in my mind is chalk. And that's probably not what you want to smell. <laughs> it smells like chalk musky chalk like a musk like um kind of like you know those musk sticks those little pink musks well in australia they have them i don't know if they have them in, they have to have them other way in other parts of the world not australia uh not only just australia we're that special um it kind of oh it's changing now it kind of reminded me of those but like a very um watered down version of a must stick because even straight away in my mind's eye I um, pictured the must stick the pink stick and smelt chalk which is very strange it's actually changing now and it's actually doesn't taste it doesn't taste <laughs> I'm not smell I'm not tasting it I'm smelling it maybe that says something it reminds me of food maybe that's why I said that it's actually becoming sweeter and it's turning into something else. And that's something else I honestly couldn't um, describe to you, but I do like it. Yeah, I probably should say, do I like it? I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the feeds with this one. Because I think to me, this is going to be one, and again, it's changing some more. It feels, feels, <laughs> it uh, seems to be one that be powdery. And I'll be honest with you, I think the more and more perfumes I try, the more I realize I'm not that um type of person who likes those powdery uh perfumes and you'd understand what i mean i like more crisp or loud or deep not powdery there is a very clear distinction when you smell them it's kind of sweet but yeah it's just powder and it smells like something i don't know if it's a mustic but it smells like something else i'm on the fence i'm not i'm neither here nor there hmm about this one <laughs> so let's read the notes put it down so i don't lose which are uh, ones i've done by the way <laughs> and let's read the description together shall we 
off their Libertine website. And Oriana from Perfumes de Mali. So when we talk about the um, family it belongs to, floral, amber. So it combines floral notes with a subtle sense, 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 can't speak today, of spice. <laughs> citrus fruity accords. So zesty, refreshing, refreshing citrus blended with delicious fruity aromas. I don't know. That's not what I get, but anyway. This is the description. <laughs> See, here we go. A gourmand, floral, and fruity fragrance designed entirely as a variation on texture. Okay. A mule, fule. No, I don't know. I'll probably butcher that completely. Mule, fuel. I don't even know what that word is. I could look it up for you. A flaky sweetness, softness, and sensuality. Hmm. A sparkling and juicy opening of mandarin. Is that what the smell is? Mandarin. It is. It's mandarin. Get off the grass. <laughs> it is. It's mandarin. It's not musk at all. It's mandarin. Wow. And an Italian bergamot with a joyful orange blossom flower and blackcurrant heart leads to a flimsy delight of marshmallow. Wow. And an airy sweetness of chantilly cream that are addictive. The ambient and musk base notes. Ah, see, there is musk in there. I'm not totally insane. Adds a carnal touch to the composition. I don't know if that's the appropriate word. A glowing delight. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's. See, my first sense was that chalky, musky smell. But when I smell it now, I would certainly do, like with the description, I do smell mandarin. I kind of like it, but it's the flowery thing for me. It's that um, that powdery. I'm getting that powdery sense that I'm not. I'm on the fence, but it is beautiful. I, it's very nice. But my first reaction, and probably like everyone has perfumes they smell, I'm like, oh my god, this is the best perfume I've ever smelled. <laughs> um, you know, and we all like to have that. But sometimes, you know, you might smell something and it takes a little while to warm up to it. Do you know what I mean? But the mandarin's nice. I like that. I've never smelled anything. Again, this is a perfume. I've never smelled anything like this, which, again, if you're someone who likes to have something different, yeah, that's a cracker. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Let's go to number three, shall we? Let's go. Um, the third perfume um tester we're going to review today Ooh, little box i love these little boxes they're so cute it uh the brand is juliet has a gun and the name of the perfume is lily fantasy Ooh, fantasy uh, <laughs> i don't know why i saying that uh, <laughs> so let's open the box and uh let's see what it looks like or smells like first looks like i don't know why i say that Gonna spray it on my fancy paper. Woo! And, uh, oh, okay. Comes out pretty good. Excuse me for doing that. Whoa! <laughs> this is another, straight away, another powdery perfume. Strong flowery as in flower scent not like um citrus is probably what i'm trying to lead to i'm assuming because it's called lily fantasy it's lilies i <laughs> could be wrong could be completely wrong i like it but i don't love it i'm not like oh my god straight away instant awesome reaction i'm like okay it's okay it is changing now Changing. So isn't it funny how perfumes change? Not really. I mean, there's, you know, there's top, middle and heart notes kind of thing, whatever they describe it as. But, yeah, it's just pretty cool, actually. Mm. Now it's turning into something and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. It's changing into something that's not as nice. Like a... um. I'm actually thinking of, and this is completely probably completely wrong, but I'm in my mind. I'm picturing, um, you know, when you're sanding off wood and you get the wood chips and you get that initial wood chip smell. That's the smell I'm getting, and, and I 
yeah, I, it probably doesn't have anything to do with it, but that's what my, in my mind, and I need to start trusting that visual. That's what I get. But then obviously there's that smell of that flower, whatever it is on top of it. Yeah, I'm not sure on this one, um, but let's read the description. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. So yeah, there's that. But let's read the description and see what it has to say. So this was Juliet Has a Gun, Lily Fantasy. Now, the family that this falls under is Amber. Sweet, spicy and warm notes. Bold, sensual and sumptuous. Fancy. And also floral, which I mentioned. The exquisite notes of freshly cut flowers and heady bouquet. Okay. I just saw the top notes and I'm like, really? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so this is description. Too glam to give a damn. <laughs> that's pretty cool. An extravagant cocktail of white flowers and ambery, no ambery notes. Is that a word? Perverted with a bubblegum gourmet twist. An awful tree? Off tree? Whirlwind? <laughs> My pronunciation is so bad today. Awful tree whirlwind that will announce your arrival and recall after you're gone. Mm. These descriptions sometimes, I uh, please don't butcher me, but they're really hard to read. <laughs> um, so we have top notes, which is bubblegum accord. Heart notes is tuberose absolute and absolute jasmine. And the bottom notes is ambroxan and amber. So maybe it's one of those notes that smells like wood, amber? No, I don't know, but it's very interesting. Where did the piece of paper go? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like this. It didn't remind me of bubble gum, but everyone's different, aren't they? But yeah, <laughs> I don't mind it, but I'm not in love with it. Um, let's go to the fourth one. I don't know, I'm moving really on from that one because that's really confused me, that one. <laughs> so the fourth one, again, in a tiny little box. It's so cute. And I can't read it from the box, but the brand is Frappin or Frappin? Frappin? Frappin. Frappin. And the perfume name is If by RK. That's fancy, isn't it? If. If. If what? <laughs> Let's open the box. Can't get it out. Ah! Here's my fancy paper again. Ooh. And let's spray this if on there and see if we like it. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, let's spray. <laughs> I'll let that go down there for a second. I'm still trying to, I'm, I'm smelling something in the background. I don't know if it's the bubble gum one or something else, but anyway. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Straight away spices. I smell spice. Smell spices. This reminds me of a perfume or something else. And I don't know what it is, but it's got spices in it. I'm trying to pick the spice for you, but I have no idea, but I like it. It's very, again, it's, I have smelt this smelt before, smelt this smell. <laughs> yeah, smelt, spelt. I don't know, even know what I'm saying anymore. I have smelt this before, like this kind of type of smell. Now it's changing. This smells more like a man's perfume to me, not than a woman's one. The other ones, all the rest of the other ones I um, tested earlier, they, I would say, would be leading more feminine, where this is, I mean, I could wear this. I would wear it, but it's to me it smells more masculine. It really reminds me of something, and I can't tell you what it is, but like spice is that initial when I um, first like went to my nose, is that hit of spice spices which I like. Not bad. Let's um, mm, not bad. Oh, these reviews are a bit up and down today. Up and down today, aren't they? Let's go to the website 
and see what it says. So if by RK Frappan or Frappan, uh, in the family of woody amber, so earthy woody notes mixed with spicy and sweet notes. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Let's read a description. It all sounds very fancy. I was lucky enough to travel from the north to the south of India during a charity race this year and passing through Masaur, the verses of If came to me. It was my grandfather, <laughs> a great traveller, if there ever was one, who drew who introduced me to this poem when I was a child. Okay, so the poems, okay, this is interesting. This lesson needs, this lesson that needs to be repeated every day in order to become what we are. And this is a quote from David Frassard, Artistic Director of Perfumes Frappen. Okay, well, that's really, in I like the backstory. That's really interesting. <laughs> I don't know about you. Okay, so the top notes, fresh ginger from Madagascar, pepper from Karnataka, Italian bergamot. Wow. Heart notes, fig milk, Cilian cinnamon. That's the smell, cinnamon. Salon, sorry, I butchered that. Salon cinnamon, that's what it is. Cashmere wood. Base notes is sandalwood from Masaur, patchouli from Indonesia. Guac wood from Peru and Tonka bean from Venezuela. Wow. How complex is this? That's one thing I've noticed and I, and what I, I will do a review for you as well is I recently bought a, another perfume from um, Frappen and I'll we'll do a separate review. But one thing I noticed is that the initial burst are not like just straight onto the skin. It's like poof and then it, it dies down and it's but it's more a smell that stays close to you it's not like a projection one that's like everyone in the whole world can smell which when I first put the other one on I'm like oh do I like that because I want everyone to smell the perfume do you know what I mean I'm like you know I bought this so you could all smell it but it's actually it grew on me in the sense that it wasn't overpowering it was more like when I put my arm to my nose it was like not like a secret smell <laughs> that I you know I could smell but it wasn't, you know, so loud is probably what I'm trying to get to, which was nice. It was subtle and it was, yeah, I liked it. And this is the same thing. It's when you first spray this, it's like pow with all the spices and it's that salon cinnamon that is the first one. That's what that strong smell was. But now, yeah, it's died down and it's, yeah, this is very interesting and I think I like it. I'm just going to smell it one more time, spray it a couple more times. I, I don't smell ginger, but that that could be that initial. Could be ginger. Yeah, there's something. This is a really, yeah. This is a really interesting one. I like it because it's very interesting. Yeah, I recommend it. This is really nice. I would wear this. I think it would be more suitable for a man, but yeah, I really like it a lot. <laughs> anyway, to the last one, moving on, cracking on. So the last sample that I have today is from the uh, House of Creed, uh, which most people know. And this sample is a Ventist for her, which again, a lot of people would have heard of. I, I don't have this uh perfume in my collection so we'll see if it's it is a perfume that i want us to have in my collection let's get out of the little box let's get my fancy paper that last one is still lingering the frappin one it's nice and uh clean my nose <laughs> smell it excuse me oh okay Wow, it's strong off the bat, isn't it? Woo! Okay. <laughs> I'll go back in there because I was whiffing too much of it. Again, straight away, this is a fresh one. Like, it's not flor it doesn't smell florally to me right now at the moment. Oh, I don't know what that note is. It's. I've never smelled a perfume like this before. This is good today. Like these are five, per apart from, which one was it? 
was it the second one? One of them had a smell that I kind of was reminiscent of something, but it's changing now. I do like it. I'm not going to, I should probably tell you if I like it or not. I do like it. I don't know if I love it because I think the frappin's really just <laughs> overpowered my mind with the interest, interest, interesting uh, description of all the spices and things. And it's distract me, distracting me from this one. This would be a very good um, summer scent straight away. Fresh. I don't know what the notes are. I couldn't even tell you what it smells like, but it smells light and fresh. It has like some sort of sweet note in it, but I, I, could, I, I can't tell you. I'm going to read it in a second. I like it, but I think it's more one of those ones where, again, if you just want to just have like a clean smelling scent that's not too flowery, not too, you know, full of bouquets of flowers and has weird scents, this one would be for you. I, I kind of like it. I don't love it. I, I'm surprised actually because I've watched a lot of videos online, people doing perfume reviews and they rave about this. It's like, oh, this is the one you have to get this in part of your collection. And I've, I honestly uh, thought in my mind for sure when I tested this today, I'd be like blown away. And I'm not actually blown away, which is very interesting. It's changing into something else. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to go to the notes today. I'm going to put that down so I don't forget in <laughs> where it is. And I'm going to read this for you. So that was Creed, Aventus for Her. This falls under the family of woods. So warm, dry, and sophisticated notes, woods, resins, and moss. Okay. See, I get more. Oh, okay, so now it's kind of, that must be the base notes or the middle notes because at first it's more bright. It's not woody. Now I'm getting it as it dries down. The other citrus, fruity accords. So zesty, refreshing, refreshing <laughs> citrus. <laughs> Can't speak. Blended with delicious fruity aromas. So I'm going to read it to you and uh, let's go from there. So, oh, I just read the top note. I'm like, what? Sorry, I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating because, really? And I'll talk about this in a second, but uh, let's read the description. <laughs> okay, so the, the second word, like I love how they just write these descriptions and I'm sure they think everyone's just like... Um, you know, literature experts. But anyway, a promontory, and that could be wrong, a promontory of steel and glass suspended between earth and sky overhangs the deep valley below. Let's get into it. His elbow is virtually leaning on the rail. He scans the horizon, does he? Priestly in his bearings, his body alert, his equine double, his Superb, patient mount at his side. The perfectly matched combination of powerful forces. Harmlessly, harmoniously. Ha, <laughs> rest. Sorry. She, she, the incarnation of femininity, the crook of a shoulder, the curve of a bicep, the warmth of a torso. Her terrestrial pegasus, moment of respite. What? Oh, sorry, I skipped <laughs> I lost my track. <laughs> her telestial pegasus stands beside her, joined in her silence, barely disturbed as it is by the impersonable palpitations of their bodies. What? The brazen Amazon savors one last moment of respite, of com contemplation before the sweet necessity, necessity of conquest. She relishes this suspended time between what it has been and what has to come, the promise of the future. Fuck. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> okay, so now I get the picture what there's two people and there's two horses and they're about to get it on and, you know, like you're using fancy words. And they're looking over the sunset. I oh, know that's, wow. That's a lot. <laughs> Whoever wrote it, congratulations. Very uh, interesting, but very hard to read. So today the top notes are green apple, which 
when I saw that, I'm like, green apple. And I love the smell of apple in products, but I kind of get it. But it, I can imagine that would be such a hard scent to pull off. Green apple, violet, pink berries, patchouli, bergamot, lemon. Heart notes is strax, sandalwood, masaur, musk. Base notes is peach. I do have that. I do smell peach. Must be base notes that top and base is what I usually smell like and the middle notes are hard to smell peach cassass lilac 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 amber ylang ylang mm. I do smell the peach I don't know what else I smell I kind of yeah this is it's a strange one because it's again, it's now smells really different, but it's it's not one that like I immediately was was drawn to. Do you know what I mean? I'm not like, oh my god, I have to have this. It's for all the um reviews that I've seen on this. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not I'm not that you know blown away by it, but I think it's one of those ones where if you bought it. I, you know how when they talk about in reviews when they talk about buying perfumes blind and like for me, you know, you can see some reviews and you feel confident, okay, if I buy that, I know I'm going to like it. And it's strange because I thought from people's reviews, this would be one that I would absolutely want to buy. And I actually think this is one that like, no, I probably wouldn't buy, number one, but number two... If I did buy it, I think it'd be one that I'd have to like um, get used to, which sounds really strange, but because it's, I kind of like it, but I'm not in love with it at all. But one that I could maybe fall in love with, if, if you know what I mean, if you get my drift. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so that's number five. So now we've uh, gone through the five... Uh, sample testers um, like last time I'm going to choose two that I'm going to actually put on my skin because I'd like to see what they actually smell like on my skin not just on a interesting little piece of paper and I think today the two that stand out to me is the first one which was the Hermetica one um, and I think I'm going to choose the Frappen one yep so let's go back to Hermetica. So again, that was Hermetica Jade Eight Age. This was green. And like I said, I've got that sense of the forest or ferns and things like that. So it'd be interesting to see what it smells like on my skin, actually. It actually smells sweeter on my skin. I still get that sense of green, like as in ferns. Oh, and you know how I talked about moss before when I did the description? Not stinky, yucky moss, like nice, fresh moss with that's been, like it's, uh, what am I trying to say? So you're at a, um, you're in the forest. <laughs> you're in the forest and there's a stream. Let's imagine a stream and there's rocks, like round rocks and it's, you know, quiet and there's running water and it's not too big of a creek and there's moss growing on the rocks and you bend down to get a drink of water and you can smell the forest around you and you can smell the moss on the rock, like that fresh because it's water going over it. Oh. You know what I like about this? I like this because I've absolutely never in my whole entire life smelled anything like this perfume ever. And it's so interesting. And it's not one that I would normally think that I'd like, as in I'd go for. But in saying that, like, you know, when you go to, um, you know, your big department stores and things like that, you don't know what, per like, I mean, you can watch reviews and smell them and things like that. But no one's going around going, oh, do you want to smell like a fern? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, no one's doing that. Or do you want to smell like grass? Or you want to smell green. But I don't know. This one's really, I like it a lot. 
I like it because it's got like a kind of slight sweet smell, but in saying that it's not sweet at all and it's got that green smell and it's it's really captivating. Yeah, that's a winner. Hermetica, Jade 88. I, yeah, I'm going to buy this. <laughs> that's, a, that's, yeah, very interesting. I'd like to know more about it because I think um, by the look of it when they talk about Hermetica, and I'm just going, yeah, Hermetica is a collection of molecular fragrances inspired by the ancient practice of alchemy, which sought to transform basic metals into precious materials and define the ultimate elixir of life. Applying these practices to modern day perfume making, Hermetica's long lasting alcohol free fragrances are based on the belief that finding the perfect perfume relies on the chemical connection between the molecular molecules within a fragrance and one skin wow that is i don't know about you but that's bloody cool i like that i'm sold you won me over hermetica <laughs> um yeah that's a cracker that is a cracker and i'll be interested to smell other ones now because i mean they've got on this site there's so many that you could choose from but wow that's stunning okay let's move to the other one so the other one I was going to put on my skin was If by RK, which is the Frappen fragrance. And that was the one with the really interesting story and the very complex notes in it. So I'm going to see what that smells like because, like I said, the other one that I bought the other day, I actually have it here, just so you know. Oh, yeah, 1270 or 1270, however you, this one. I bought the other day and like I said I really like it and I really like even more the fact that it's not loud it's beautiful closer to you than actually you know trying to take everyone out with your smell which is for me weird but yeah let's spray this one on mm, that's such an interesting one this one Because it, like, as soon as you spray it on your skin, and I'm trying to pick out, I can't really tell you the first smell that I smell, but because it's complex immediately, which is amazing. But then this probably falls for me more into that, um, yeah, when you talk about woody amber and those strong um, scents, um, you know, because I like leather scents and tobacco scents and stuff like that, so me that falls into this that kind of area not light and fresh and airy not even airy but light and fresh this is more not dark but it's spicy and it's complex and it's yeah i love it <laughs> i like it too because it kind of falls in the family of perfumes that i know i like but in saying that it's not a smell that i actually have already um because you know you want it kind of the same but you want same same different do you know what i mean yeah that's so nice too that's they're both stunning they're amazing i don't know what to say what's my choice of the day <laughs> i don't know let's go to do a uh, little bit more about frappen so frappen found it in 1270 oh like the uh, perfume I've got. In the famous Grand Champagne region in France, the House of Frappen is renowned for their cognac. Cognac. I hate that word because I can't say it. Distillery that has continued for over 20 generations. Wow. With century-old traditions forming the secret of their distillation progress, P. Frappen and C. or C's fragrances are highly sophisticated and compositions of aromatic harmonies that are savoured by discerning circles the world over i'd agree with that because it is complex and it's like you smell it one time and you smell something and then because that other one it had smelt like this it's mentioned milk and you're kind of like which is weird like and then you get spice and this one sweet and so now this is even sweeter again this one oh they're both amazing they're both beautiful like for very different reasons which one is my choice today? 
choice of the day. I'm going with the Jade 888. Which I'm surprised with because I do I do love the other one. And I'd certainly put that on my list to buy for the future. But that JJ, JJ, <laughs> the Jade 888, that's amazing. Because honestly, I don't have anything that smells like it. And I love it. And I don't think I've ever smelled it on anyone else too, which is, yeah, that's just blown me away. So, okay. So the winner for today, <laughs> I'll cut to the chase. It's Hermetica, and that was Jade 888. So, yeah, that's it. That's the five testers and five reviews. Uh, obviously, if you like this type of video and you'd like to see more, you, you know, you can always put your comment in the description box down below. You can subscribe. You can follow my channel. You can hit the notification bell and all that jazz. Or you could just watch and not ever watch again. <laughs> I don't know. But um, like I mentioned in my first video, this is uh, near for me and I'm not a perfume expert. What I am is someone who absolutely loves perfumes and trying new perfumes and seeing what's out there. And certainly I found two crackers today that I've never smelt before and uh, certainly looking forward to buying them in the future. All these samples came from the company uh, Libertine. And like I've previously mentioned as well, absolutely uh, love their service in the sense of how quick their delivery comes, the amount of samples you receive, um, well um, packaged as well. Um, the one I recently received had a beautiful note in it as well, personalized note. Yeah, you can't say any more than, you can't ask for any more than that. Um, they're beautiful. So yeah, that's it for today. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> See ya. Bye.